Welcome to Medium Rare, VR Sculpting Tips Served Up Fast. Episode 6. So, you want to sculpt fabric? This is part 1 of a two-part episode. In this one, I'll show you how to block in the basic forms of three different types of fold. Specifically, pipe folds, zigzag folds and the diaper fold. First off, I would recommend that you study references. Classical sculpture is a perfect place to start. And I would also suggest that you find the famous artist course um, about drawing. Uh, now, they have a fantastic primer in there about how to draw different types of fold. Or finally, just Google um, drawing folds because drawings, they've got this down pat. Copy that, but sculpt. Let's get to it. Okay, so first off, I'm just going to show you the pipe fold. So this skirt here is basically a pipe fold. It's the sort of thing that you get when cloth just hangs, like curtains, skirts. So first, I'm going to pick clay, and I'm going to use this big cylinder, and I'm going to lock it on angle snap and mirror. And I'm just going to array them around where we need to be. I'm going to hide the one new layer. I'm making it about half the size of the thing. When normally I make it about the size, I know that I'm going to need a fair bit of detail in this, so half the size. Move cube 100% on both. Scale by using up on the thumbstick. There we go. Switch off inner radius. Switch off angle snap. I'm just pinching using down on the thumbstick. I'm going to call that done for just now. Okay. Now, I'm going to show you how I make spiral folds like these here. Also, zigzag folds and spiral folds are two of the different kinds, but in actual fact, I would say that spiral folds are just very lazy, very loose zigzag folds. You heard it here first, folks. Right. And I'm going to hide that one. Now this shape was just an extrusion from this, so that's I'm just going to do that again. This is just move. Portion it about until I'm happy. Okay, that's going to do. I'm going to add the new layer. Always add a new layer. And then we're going to go to clay and I'm going to pick, I'll show you where it is, mechanical and it's a little tapered this. It's a little tapered um, cylinder. It's tiny, but it is this taper, which is important for this. Make sure we're picking that colour and that we're on our new layer. Yes. And then we're gonna scale it up to about the same, just bigger than this. Just smaller works too, but we're just gonna put it on single. Yep, that's fine. The main point of tension's here. It pulls all the cloth up this way. So we're gonna arrange these around that. Just always use reference. I'm not using reference here. It's lazy. It's terrible. Naughty boy. Okay. And then I'm going to use the move tool just to give them a bit of gravity. 
to stretch them slightly more convincingly than this. Also push them back into the towards the surface that they've come from. And also the two sides are un, uneven to one another. We don't want them the same. I should probably change that one too, but hey, yeah, we can't have everything. And then I'm simply going to merge these two. Smooth with fill. I'm going to grab and I'm going to pinch. Okay, something like that. Like I say, we should be using reference because you'll get much better result. So there we go. That is that pipe spiral and zigzag. And then the last type is a diaper fold, which is this one here. So just gonna hide that one, add a new layer, scale. Pick the color. And then what I normally do is I make a surface. I'm going to pick the letter L, the small letter L, just as a nice flat, thin flat surface. There we go. And I'm going to place it here like this. I'm going to make sure it's the same color and the same material. Just And then we're going to use the move tool to strength. It's just a angle snap, just for the same sake. Switch off inner radius. Give it a bit of character. Do low res, I'm going to up the res. Switch off angle snap. Okay, I'm fairly happy with that. Then I'm going to duplicate this layer so it's the same resolution. And then I'm going to isolate and I'm going to erase what we have. And then I'm going to use my favorite little muscle belly shape. I'm going to use add. Oh, and I'm going to switch off mirror. Just going to place one here. Then I'm going to use move. Medium strength, zero in the radius. Something like that. Yep, fairly happy with that. I'm going to push it back onto the surface. I'm going to duplicate, scale, and move back onto the surface. Okay. And duplicate and flip. Flip. It's the same material, so you see all of the folds will be relatively similarly sized. That's kind of how fabric works. And okay, and flip. And there we go. Make sure this is touching the surface.
Merit. Man fell. Increase the res, and then I'm gonna outreach just to make it a bit neater, a bit more gentle. And then I'm gonna push a little, a little more, and then what I could do is I could also push in some of the low points to try capture more strength fill some of these out okay now I'm calling that done Look out for part two where I detail and refine these folds. And if you find this useful, like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.